Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Laundry in the Old West. Ooh, God. Yeah, uh, let's do that. While doing last Saturday's live stream, a comment came up asking about keeping shirts white back then without bleach. Well, it got me thinking. Oh my God. So I looked into the whole laundry thing and thought you all may want to know. Washing clothes prior to washing machines was a time-consuming task. It required boiling water, lots of it, mixing in soap and agitating. And plunge and scrub. Think of manually doing all the cycles your washing machine does. The warm soapy water would be reused, first to wash the least soiled clothing, then to wash the dirtier laundry. Drying was performed outdoors or indoors if there was space for it. The whole process was a lot of work, and the homemade ash lye soap used was rough on the launderer's skin. However, this was a way to earn money, and in boom towns it would keep you busy. For example, during the California Gold Rush, women met the demand by washing clothes at a pond near Black Point called Washerwoman's Lagoon. In 1833, Stephen Rust patented the washboard, which allowed the soap to really penetrate the fibers. This task simplified the time involved with laundering. Some pioneers were still using a battling stick to force dirt and water out of the fabrics. The clothes could be wrung out in a clothes wringer, patented in 1843, then hung up on a clothesline with spring-loaded clothespins, patented in 1853. Victorian Europe designated wash day as Monday since they wanted to allow plenty of time for clothes to go through the drying, ironing, and folding process to be ready for Sunday, which was a day of rest. Bleach was invented in 18th century Europe but on the wild frontier, we don't see its popularity until late in the period. Most folks used the age-old method of ash lye, boiling water, and sunlight to keep linens and shirts white. Ammonia could be made from urine, and that worked well too. Starch could be water from cooked potatoes or rice, or other household items that could stiffen the clothing. Of course, many of these things could be found in a mercantile, but if you need to keep costs down or couldn't get to town, you did what you had to do. Larger towns would have a Chinese district, where you could take clothes to be washed. It was a smart business opportunity for the Asian community because the demand was definitely there. How do you get shirts so clean, Mr. Lee? Ancient Chinese secret. There's a gold rush story about a Chinese laundryman that became rich from gold dust deposits on the miners' clothing he was cleaning. An unlikely but interesting tale of a very resourceful fellow. <laughs> Incidentally, steam as a method of powering industrial laundering facilities was around, but we don't see that in a small frontier community. Towards the end of the era, we see the growing popularity of mechanical washing machines and varieties of laundry soap were replacing ash lye. Today, even with modern conveniences, people still resort to the older methods of laundering. And to those of you who do that, thanks for keeping the spirit of the Old West alive. Hey folks, we have Dirty Dan. Howdy. And new member of his family, Dirty Dog. Howdy. How you doing, buddy? Ow! Good boy. Hey, come on, don't make this a trend. Speaking of dirty, uh, you brought us a washboard today. Yes, this would be the suitcase model, the traveling companion to the salesman. Or... Oh, really? So it's got a little clothesline and a little clothespin? Wow, it's all together, that's neat. That's so you can hang your dainties. My what? Never mind, go on. I understand that people in Missouri also play these. Stereotyping is just wrong. I want to get that in there right away. Okay. But um, yeah, it's you know you got it hanging out at the house anyway. From doing laundry all week, might as well fire it up on a weekend. Play it too. I'm gonna let you take us out. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Awesome. Bye. -bye. I understand that people in Missouri also play these. Get it. I understand that people